Yo, what's up everybody, Mizan here, back with another adventure. This time we're in Phuket, Thailand. This place is absolutely incredible. White sand beaches, crystal clear water, delicious food, you name it. But, and this is a big but, amidst all this beauty, there's a darker side. Yeah, you heard that right. We're talking about scams, guys. Phuket's no stranger to these tourist traps, and trust me, you don't want to fall victim. So stick around because in this video, we're diving deep into the five most common scams in Phuket and how you can avoid them like a pro. All right, let's kick things off with the classic, the one and only jet ski scam. This scam has been around for years, and yet it still manages to catch unsuspecting tourists off guard. It's a tale as old as time, but with a modern twist. You know the drill. You're strolling down the beach, sun's out, vibes are high, and bam, the crystal clear waters are calling your name, and you're in the mood for some adventure. Someone's offering you a killer deal on a jet ski rental. The price seems too good to be true, and you're thinking, why not? Sounds tempting, right? Wrong. This is where the trouble begins. Here's the catch. They often rent out these jet skis with pre-existing damage. The damage is usually subtle, hidden in places you wouldn't think to check. You take it out for a spin, bring it back, and boom, they hit you with a hefty bill for the supposed new damage. Suddenly, that cheap rental isn't so cheap anymore. The argument ensues, and you're left feeling scammed and frustrated. Listen up, before you even think about renting a jet ski, inspect it like your life depends on it. This isn't just a casual glance, you need to be thorough, I'm talking every nook and cranny. Check the hull, the engine, the handlebars, and even the underside. Leave no stone unturned. Take pictures, videos, the whole nine yards. Document everything. This is your evidence, your proof that the damage was there before you took the jet ski out. And most importantly, get that rental agreement in writing. Make sure it clearly states the condition of the jet ski before you take it out. If possible, have the rental company sign off on your inspection. Trust me, it'll save you a world of trouble. You'll be able to enjoy your time on the water without the looming fear of being scammed. So, next time you're tempted by that killer deal, remember these tips and stay vigilant. Enjoy your vacation, but always stay one step ahead of the scammers. Next up, we've got the timeshare trap, especially rampant in tourist hotspots like Patong. Picture this, you're walking down the street, minding your own business, when suddenly someone approaches you, all smiles and promises of a fantastic opportunity. They start talking about these amazing timeshare deals, how you can own a piece of paradise for a steal. But hold on, don't get swept away just yet. These offers are often too good to be true. They'll lure you in with fancy presentations, free meals, the works. But the reality is you'll end up locked into a long-term contract with hidden fees and restrictions. My advice, just say no. Politely decline any unsolicited offers, no matter how tempting they sound. Chapter three, don't get driven away by this scam. Let's talk about the minivan maneuver, a scam that preys on unsuspecting travelers. This scam is particularly rampant in popular tourist destinations like Phuket, where the influx of visitors makes it easier for scammers to operate unnoticed. You've just arrived in Phuket, exhausted from your journey, and all you want is to get to your hotel. The last thing on your mind is dealing with a scam. But unfortunately, this is when you're most vulnerable. You hop into a minivan, thinking it's a regular taxi service, but little do you know, you're in for a bumpy ride. These minivans often look legitimate, and the drivers can be very convincing. These shady minivan drivers are notorious for pulling a fast one. They might seem friendly and helpful at first, but their true intentions are far from genuine. They might tell you your hotel is closed or overbooked and then try to take you to a completely different hotel, and usually one that's overpriced or in a less desirable location. Don't fall for it. This is a common tactic to get you to spend more money at a place where they likely receive a commission. Before you even get into a minivan, have your hotel booking confirmation handy. This simple step can save you a lot of trouble. Make sure your phone is charged so you can show the confirmation email or a screenshot. Show it to the driver and make sure they understand where you want to go. Be firm and clear about your destination. If they start making excuses or seem hesitant, it's a red flag. If they start making excuses, just get out and find another ride. It's better to be safe than sorry. Look for official taxi stands or use a reputable ride hailing app. These options are generally more reliable and can provide you with a safer journey. Ride hailing apps like Grab are widely used in Phuket and can be a safer alternative to hailing a random minivan. 
These apps allow you to track your ride, see the driver's details, and even share your trip with friends or family for added security. By taking these precautions, you can ensure a smoother and safer journey to your hotel. Remember, a little preparation goes a long way in avoiding scams and enjoying your trip to the fullest. Phuket is a beautiful destination with so much to offer. Don't let a scam ruin your experience. Stay vigilant, be prepared, and you'll have a fantastic time exploring this tropical paradise. Safe travels! Chapter 4. The Sick Buffalo. Don't let emotions get the best of you. Alright, this next one tugs at the heartstrings. The Sick Buffalo Scam. It's a classic example of how scammers exploit our natural empathy and compassion. Picture this. You're out and about in Phuket, enjoying the vibrant nightlife, the bustling streets, and the warm tropical air. Suddenly, someone approaches you with a heart-wrenching sob story. They tell you about their sick buffalo, a beloved family member who desperately needs medical attention. They paint a vivid picture of the poor animal suffering, tugging at your heartstrings. With tears in their eyes, they'll plead for your help, claiming they need money for medicine or a vet. They might even show you pictures of the buffalo, looking frail and in need of care. Now, while it's admirable to want to help those in need, it's crucial to be cautious in these situations. Scammers are skilled at manipulating emotions, and they know exactly how to make you feel guilty or responsible. This scam preys on your emotions, making you want to reach out and help. They rely on the fact that most people don't want to see an animal suffer, and they use that to their advantage. But often, it's just a fabricated story to get your money. The buffalo might not even exist, or if it does, it might not be sick at all. The scammer is simply using a common and effective tactic to exploit your kindness. If you encounter such a situation, it's best to politely decline and suggest they seek help from local authorities or animal welfare organizations. These organizations are better equipped to handle such cases and can provide the necessary assistance. Remember, it's important to stay vigilant and not let your emotions cloud your judgment. Scammers thrive on emotional manipulation, and the best way to protect yourself is to stay informed and cautious. If you're ever in doubt, you can always contact local authorities or animal welfare groups to verify the story. They can provide you with accurate information and help you determine if the situation is genuine. By staying aware and cautious, you can enjoy your time in Phuket without falling victim to scams. It's all about finding the balance between compassion and caution. If you truly want to help animals in need, consider volunteering at a local animal shelter or donating to reputable animal welfare organizations. This way, you can be sure that your efforts and resources are going to a good cause. Educating yourself about common scams in the area can also go a long way in protecting yourself. The more you know, the better prepared you'll be to handle such situations. Share your knowledge with fellow travelers and friends. The more people are aware of these scams, the harder it will be for scammers to succeed. So, keep your wits about you, stay informed, and enjoy your travels with peace of mind. Remember, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Chapter 5. Sparkle and shine, but don't get scammed. Last but not least, let's talk about the gem scam, a classic tourist trap found in many parts of the world, including Phuket. You'll come across shops or individuals offering amazing deals on precious stones and jewelry. They'll use all sorts of tactics to lure you in from high-pressure sales pitches to fake certificates of authenticity. But here's the thing. The gems they're selling are often fake, low quality, or grossly overpriced. They might tell you it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, but trust me, it's not worth the risk. If you're looking to buy gems, do your research and only purchase from reputable sources. Outro stay safe, stay savvy. So there you have it guys, the five most common scams in Phuket. Remember, knowledge is power. By being aware of these scams and following these simple tips, you can safeguard your trip and ensure a memorable experience for all the right reasons. Phuket is an incredible destination with so much to offer. Don't let these scams deter you from exploring its beauty. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and most importantly, have an amazing time.